everyone, it's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Friends. Well, it is really early this morning. I'm not sure how I'm looking, you know, how I'm looking on camera. <laughs> I may not be fresh as a daisy <laughs> because it is quite early. It is 7.30 a.m. The reason I'm on here this early because I wanted to get this video filmed um, because I'm not sure how the uh, the rest of the day will be. So I wanted to go ahead and get it filmed now so then I can get it edited and um, uploaded for you. <laughs> okay, whew, busy few days. Uh, the uh, Monday video that you saw with the Christmas ornaments, the Christmas collab video, that one, and yesterday's Tuesday Tidbits video were pre-recorded. I did those, both of those on Sunday uh, because the last few days have just been so busy. So what have I been doing? Well, the weekend was, was about a regular weekend, but on Monday, um, I had to, um, uh, I had to go pick up my mom and bring my mom up here and she spent the night Monday night because Tuesday morning, I had to take her, which was yesterday, yeah, <laughs> yesterday morning, I had to take her to her follow-up, one of her follow-up appointments for the cataract surgery that she had, and um, I didn't know it. I mean, I thought that, that the appointment was going to be that now that she's got both her eyes fixed, that they were going to uh, give her, a, do like the prescription, I mean, do the eye exam to, for prescription for glasses, you know, new glasses because her vision has changed. So I thought that's what it was for, but actually they, she had a stitch in her eye that they had left in there. You know, they wanted to leave it in there for two weeks after they did the surgery. And so he had to remove that stitch out of her eye. I think it was one or two stitches, I don't know. And, uh, I, and they did that yesterday. So I didn't even know they were gonna do that. And then they were like, okay, well now you can wait two weeks um, and then you can get your, go and get an eye exam and get your actual prescription, you know, for glasses. I'll, and she said that she's doing really well though. I mean, she said that she may not even need um, glasses for distance, you know. It, uh, she thought maybe she may even, can get away with just using readers and that's it. So that would be awesome. Anyway, so I did that, okay? So I took her to her appointment yesterday morning, and then I got, and then I brought her back over here to my house, and then uh, my mother-in-law, she came up here yesterday because she had cataract surgery <laughs> yesterday. So while I was with my mom at her follow-up appointment, she was having her cataract surgery. So after her cataract surgery, because it's an outpatient procedure. So after her surgery, my father-in-law brought her over here. <laughs> and so we were all over here for a little bit. And then I had to go and take my mom back home. And my husband was here with his mom, my mother-in-law. And so anyway, my mother-in-law spent the night last night. And so this morning, my son got up early and drove, come over here to the house. Well, he doesn't live far from me. And he took her, and that's where they're at right now. He took her for her uh, follow-up appointment. <laughs> so, and then they're supposed to bring, come back over here. My, my son is supposed to bring my mother-in-law back over here. Um, and then my father-in-law is going to pick her, pick her up, and then they're going to go home. But I don't know when. Yeah, I don't know how long she'll be here today. So I thought I'd go ahead. Well, everybody was gone. My husband's at work, <laughs> and so everybody's gone at the moment. I would come on here and do crafting with friends. <laughs> Whoo! <laughs> so that's what we've been doing. Um, yeah. So um, I've gotten some crocheting done here and there. Um, Mainly, I worked on some things to like uh, sew in some ends and things like that that I needed to get done um, on some of my projects. So, um, and I really feel the need, so I don't know how much I'm going to do crocheting wise um, later on today. I really feel the need of kind of a reset. You know, I, I need to clean off this desk that you're sitting on, it's a mess. I need to clean it off. And I really need to do some work. I did a little work in my craft room last night because it's 
it, it looks as bad as it does during Christmas season when I'm working on stuff and like Santa's workshop, you know, <laughs> explosion. Well, it looks almost as bad as that right now. So, um, yeah, I, I really feel the need to do a reset on some of my, some of my areas, but I'm kind of like Kayla of Llama Mama Kayla, you know, I'm, that she, she says, you know, that takes away from my crocheting time, you know, <laughs> but, um, Sometimes it just has to be done. And as you can see, my craft cart back there. Oh, my goodness. I've been seeing some people uh, do videos like, what's on my craft cart? And I've, I'm tempted to do one, you know, as I try to reset that um, and go go through what I've got and video it. I might do that. I think it's kind of fun to go watch people go through their things and see what kind of... Um, treasures they find. <laughs> so I might do that. I don't know when. I think the rest of the week after today is going to kind of calm down and not have a bunch of extra activity, but we'll see. <laughs> so that's what's been going on with me. <laughs> How's everybody doing? How was your weekend? Uh, did you work on some great projects? I am still drinking my first cup of coffee in my Yarn Joy cup. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm still kind of bleary-eyed. I hope every I hope I'm looking okay. <laughs> okay, so let's get on to the Crafting with Friends project. So, I've been working on the Corner Corner Bunny, and I'm halfway through now. I've reached the halfway point. So, as you can see on my graph, I'm marking off the lines diagonally, and I have reached the corners, the very corners. So, that's halfway. So, now, from now on, since it's a square... I'm going to be each each end. In fact, I think I've done the first row. Yeah, I've done the first row of decreasing. Well, I've started it, but from on each end, I'll be doing a decrease. So I will end up, you know, with to this corner here. Okay. So what I was doing, I was doing an increase on both ends. And now that I've reached the halfway point, now I'm going to be doing a decrease on both ends because it's a square. If it was a rectangle, I would be doing a decrease on one end, you know, if once I reached um, the, the width, you know, then I would be doing a decrease on one end, but I would be building the height and doing an increase, you know. Um, but anyway, this is a square, so the, um, I'm going to be doing decreases on both sides. Okay, let me show you my work here and I I did once I reached the halfway point I did make sure I got all my tails and things weaved in up to that point so um trying to keep up with them okay I have bobbins clipped to them still and I can see this one is loose so let me let me snap that over here okay I think I can hold everything up so see I have oh you can see the bobbin let me put that at the back sort of. <laughs> I'll undo that one. Okay. So I have a half of a bunny. See? <laughs> and there is his ear up there. You can see. Yeah. Yeah. It's looking really good. It looks kind of dark. Darker than, than it is in real life. It's probably the lighting. But here is my halfway point bunny. And it's looking pretty much that way on both sides. I'll flip it over. So you can see on this side, see? Yeah. Okay, so I measured it because this bottom, this bottom edge here, see, it's it's complete all the way. It's not gonna get any bigger. Well, and this side too, because it's gonna be a square. Anyway, I did measure it because in the pattern, she had said that her, it would be approximately 20, uh, 32 inches square. And so now that I've got two complete sides, because I've reached the halfway point, I wanted to go ahead and measure it and see what the measurement is. And mine is not 32 inches. It's about 27 and a half. So I must really crochet tight, you know. I I'm using a, now I don't even know. I'm using a, oh, I'm using a G hook, a four millimeter hook. I'm almost positive. My hook is in the bag down there, but I think it's a four millimeter hook. Let me see. Oh, my bag of yarn. Um, the hook is in here somewhere. That's a bobbin. <laughs> uh, I don't see it. Oh, it's over there on the table. Yeah. I think it's, 
I think maybe it's an H hook. I wrote it down in my book. Got my book here. <laughs> my book. <laughs> um, I wrote it down. I am using, yeah, I'm using an H hook, a five millimeter hook. And that is what the pattern called for. But I just must be a tight crocheter because I only got 27 and a half inches for the width. And so what I'm gonna do is once I finish my project, then I'm going to do a put a border around all of it. So that will be more of a central square. I'll probably do a border in, I don't know. I might do a border in white or I might do like white with maybe a, a round or two, you know, like alternating or something or put a pink, you know, the same color as the inside of the ears. I might do like white for a couple of rows or something and then do a, a, a round and then do a round of pink and then back to white, you know, and then do that and then do another pink. You know, I might, I'm gonna, I think I'll work that in there somehow. And so I'm gonna make it bigger. And I think I might do, I'm not sure, I may even continue with, because the, the corner to corner is like a block stitch, basically, sort of. And so I think I may do the block stitch uh, border around it. And anyway, get some width to, I mean, well, size to it, both directions. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it needs to be a little bigger than that. There, you know, I don't know if I'll aim for 36 inches, but I do want to get it bigger than 27 and a half. <laughs> So, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think so. We'll see. So, that is my plan for that. And let's see, what else, what else have I been working on? My my Christmas Eve wishes blanket, I am I'm up to where I need to for that. And then, so I was, last night, that's what I was doing. I was working on the, I was working on some ends. I have a few more ends I need to weave in for that. And I'm finished with the Grafgan section. So there's no bobbins connected to it now. And it will be that way probably another week. I have another week's worth of ro uh, rows to get done before I start the gingerbread section. And then the gingerbread boys or whatever. And so then I will be adding bobbins again. And so, but right now, um, it's bobbin free. Yay. <laughs> so I'll show that tomorrow in my regular Yarn Joy podcast episode. And then let's see what else. Oh, I've been making a few hats for the KK Crochet uh, Charity Hat Drive. And so uh, yesterday, I well, you saw it yesterday, that demonstration I did with the hat templates, the hat tools templates. And so I've got that one completed I showed in the video. I had another one I'm doing with the bulky yarn, which is this right here, this one. I showed that I had the crown part done and then I discovered, I almost got, got, got it finished as far as the height, but I ran out of yarn. And so I had to rip it back and now I'm making a smaller size. So then hopefully this will be enough to get down, get it down where it needs to be for the height for this size. I think this is, a, I don't know if it's a teenager size, I forget. If it's a teenager size or if it's a small adult. I think it's teenager size, but anyway just trying to use this yarn. <laughs> and so I'm working on that. And, oh, I finished the Modern Granny blanket, the one I was doing with that sugar, those three sugar wheel cakes I was working on. And I finished that third cake in there. And so it's finished. The only thing I had left over is this right here because um, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't enough to go around again. And so I just finished it off. I think I did just a, no, I don't remember. I'll have to look at it. <laughs> if I did a single crochet border around it or if it was a half double crochet or border. It was basic, just a plain basic border. Um, so that's what I have left. So this will go into my buckets down there with uh, the scrap balls, okay? Oh, and then I actually, actually did a few rows on the Scrappy Steps blanket that I had been working on. I hadn't worked on it in a while. And I finished the head, uh, well, just the head part on the, the Feel Better Friend doll. So now I'm gonna do start working on the um, wig cap. Yeah, I need to start working on that too, so. Anyway, <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's been going with me. <laughs> so uh, let me know in the comments below what have you been working on and how your week is going. Um, is there anything, I'm trying to think. Well, I think this upcoming weekend is going to be 
uh, more of a restful weekend. I don't think I have, uh, we don't, I don't think we have a lot going on that we have to do. I don't think. <laughs> so, yeah, if I can make, make, well, yeah, Saturday would be a good day to work in my craft room, but we'll see. We'll see if I can stand it that long. If I need to get in there today and do some, I probably will get in there today and try to do a little straightening. Oh yeah, this past, last Friday I did help a friend of mine. She, we're, our church is getting ready for vacation Bible school, and so uh, I helped her on Friday for a few hours uh, cutting out rocket ships. <laughs> but it's stuff they're going to be doing for vacation Bible school, and so I told her I'd help her um, do a little of the craft prep work. And so I, I I did that on Friday. And we had a nice visit, though. I was working with her and her teenage daughter. And uh, we had a nice visit. And we, we uh, you know, had picked up a sandwich. So I picked up Subway sandwich. And then they did, I think, I can't remember. J Jason's Deli, I think. I think that's what they do. Anyway, we picked up our own lunch, and we took it, and we had a picnic in the classroom. <laughs> um, and then we, like I said, we, we did a bunch of cutting and painting and different things, getting ready for vacation Bible school. But we had a nice visit. That was, It was nice. I did, I did make a purchase that I was going to mention about. It's a pattern that I bought uh, from Annie's catalog. It's a pattern I've been looking at for a long time. And I always had it, you know, like on a wish list type thing. Like, oh, I want to get... It. But then I'd forget about the pattern and then I'd see it again. Oh, yeah, I need to get that sometime. And then I'd forget about it. And so uh, on one of the website, Facebook... I mean, one of the Facebook groups I belong to. I can't remember which group it was. But I, ha I happened to see where somebody had made this baby blanket. It's a baby blanket. Or, well, it's two sizes. You can either make it baby blanket or toddler blanket. But anyway... Somebody had made it, and I was like, oh, yeah, I remember I wanted to get that. And so I went ahead and went over to Annie's Catalog, their their website, and I purchased the pattern. Okay, so the pattern is called uh, Rusty the Giraffe. I'm looking at it over here on my desktop. Rusty the Giraffe. And so I'll pop in a picture right here of the, that picture. I mean, that blanket. <laughs> so there it is. Isn't it cute? I, that giraffe just got gets me every time when I see it. <laughs> and so, uh, I don't even know what kind of stitch that is. It looks like I'm looking at it on the computer, but it looks like a, a I don't know, you call that a honeycomb stitch or something? But I just think it's so cool the way the giraffe is worked into that picture and, and, yeah, into the blanket part. And then you, you have to do, like, the muzzle and the ears and the eyes and a few things, you know, that you you like applique type thing that you stitch onto it um, afterwards. But I just think it's so cute. And so um, I bought that pattern, <laughs> I've got it. Um, I was gonna print it out, but it's like 28 pages. So it, I think the, the price is worth it. I think I paid five, maybe 5.99 or five something. I might have had a coupon code where I got it off, got it a little bit cheaper, I'm not sure. But uh, like I said, it's like 28 pages. The the pattern is it's a digital pattern, and so I think it's definitely worth it, worth it. And I think it's going to be really fun to do. So that will be upcoming. I don't know when. I need to finish. You know, got two baby blankets going right now. So, but I definitely want to do that. I think it's really cute. So I purchased that, and then I found a website. I'll, I'll share the website here. It's called 1001patterns.com. I'm reading it off my screen. They've got some cool patterns on there. It's called 1001, so 1001 patterns.com. And my, my computer just went to sleep. There it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'll link a link to it down below. But it says free patterns and tutorials for crochet, knitting, and crafts. And so I see that it's got crochet patterns uh, free and free. And then knitting patterns free. And then there's a there's a section there that says crafts for kids, and I haven't even explored to see what else is on this website. But um, the patterns, or at least the crochet patterns I was looking at, and there's all kinds of categories. Um, I believe it it 
will li link, I mean, it will send you to, the, you know, it has the link where it'll send you to the website where the pattern is at. You know, it's kind of like a, it's just like a listing of them, I guess. Anyway, I'll put it down below because it's a pretty interesting website and there's lots of, um, lots of things to look at. So I'll put that down below. I think the way I found it is I was, I was uh, looking for Christmas ornament, crochet Christmas ornament patterns for the Christmas collab that I'm doing, the Deck the Halls collab, and um, I stumbled upon it. I think that, that I found an ornament that was on that website or something, and then I looked at the top, and there was other things that you could look at, other, um, not topics, but other type of patterns like afghans and wraps and corner to corner and, you know, all these different things. And so I was like, well, this is a cool website. So I wanted to share it and I'll put it down below so you can check it out. Okay, I'm gonna go because uh, I'm not sure when everybody, when uh, my mother-in-law will be back from her follow-up appointment in a little bit and then, um, you know, get the day started. So I hope you're having a wonderful week so far and hope you're having, a, a, this is a great Wednesday for you middle of the week. That's good. And come back tomorrow and we will have another visit for the regular Yarn Joy podcast episode and I'll show you my other projects. So um, until then, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.